Hey guys, Rebecca here with NLC Live Devotional. I'm excited to be with you guys today. If I'm being honest, when Neil and Tyler texted, a sense of stage fright came over me. Dear God, I'm not an on-camera kind of gal, but I do love walking through Scripture with other people, and I think this method is amazing because it's simple. Anyone can do it. You just take a passage of Scripture, you read it through, you ask yourself a series of questions, and then everyone receives something from God for that day. It's that easy. So let's jump into this. We are in Luke chapter 11, verses 9 through 10. You can really read whatever version you want. I think I'm with Christian Standard Bible version today. It's kind of like NIV. So let's jump into this. Verse 9, it says, So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Who is talking, and who is it that they're talking to? So all I had to do was jump back a few paragraphs to realize it's Jesus, and He's talking to His disciples. And it's a really cool place in Scripture because I don't know if you've ever been around somebody that just seems to have an effortless walk with God. Like prayer is like so easy for them. It's like, you know, they hear the angels singing over them like every day. And when they say something, God just like shoots an answer down to them. They have a new revelation every day. And you're like, really? (laughs) Cool. Uh, Well, it's like the disciples are like that with Jesus. They're like watching Jesus day in and day out, and He's performing miracles, He's doing ministry, and He has this walk with God. He's getting away like a couple of times a day, and they're just like, why is prayer so effortless for Him? He's talking to God like He's like His best friend, and they're watching every single day, and finally they get up enough courage one day to say, Jesus, can you just teach us how to pray? we don't know the words to say. We don't know what we're doing. I don't know if you've ever felt like that about prayer. In fact, we don't even know if God's listening to us. And so Jesus makes it really simple for them. He gives them an example prayer to follow. It's called the Lord's Prayer. It's in the same chapter. And then He tells them a simple analogy, and that is, suppose one of your friends comes to you and they stay the night, and you didn't know they were coming, and you didn't go and buy enough food for them. So all of a sudden that night you realize, oh my goodness, I don't have anything for them. So you run next door to your next door neighbor in the middle of the night. I mean, that's some next door neighbor. Okay, showing up in the middle of the night. And you start knocking on their door and you're like, hey, somebody showed up at my house. I wasn't ready for them. Do you have some food for me? And you're knocking on the door, but it's the middle of the night, okay? I don't know about you. I don't like being woken up in the middle of the night. I have a baby. I do get woken up in the middle of the night. It is no fun. So they're knocking on, you're knocking on their door and they don't want to come to the door. And then Jesus says, but the more you knock, eventually they're going to come to the door and give you as much as you need. And then he says these verses. So that's the setup. The reason I say that is the first phrase we read is, so I say to you. In other words, because of everything I just explained, because of that little analogy, so I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. Is there a command to obey in these scriptures? Yeah, the whole Two verses is a command to obey. The command is simply to ask, to seek, and to knock. And I love this because, you know, it reminds me of having childlike faith. I have two kids. I have a daughter who's almost five, and I have a brand new baby boy who's like three and a half months old. And they spend all day long asking me for the things that they need. In fact, the phrase I hear more than often is, Mama. I need this. Mama, I need you. I need you to help me. Now, my baby boy doesn't do that yet. All he does is cry, but he cries to let me know he needs something. And it just reminds me that God wants us to come to Him like kids and just be honest, humble ourselves and say, God, we need things. We're looking for answers and we haven't found them or we're knocking on a door and it hasn't opened. Is there a promise to claim? That's question number two. Yes, that's what I love about these two verses. It says, if you will obey this command, then I promise you this is gonna happen. If we will ask, the Bible says we will receive. If we will seek, it says right here that we will find. If we will be faithful to keep knocking, then God will be faithful to open the door. Question number three, is there a sin to avoid? Well. There's not like a blatant sin that it talks about, but I think there's a sin that's implied, and that's the sin of really just being independent, of being prideful, of just thinking you have it all together and you don't need to ask anyone for help. That's so easy in our day and time to just think that, especially 
the way we live today, that we just need to fake it till we make it, that we need to act like everything's easy for us. And this is saying, no, don't be prideful, don't be independent, be humble, come before your Father and be honest about the things that you need. Is there an application to make? Definitely. I would say the application is just a reminder that a couple of times a day to get alone with God and just humble ourselves like a little kid and say, God, I need things, or I'm searching for these answers and they haven't come yet, or I've been knocking on these doors and they haven't opened, and to just know on the other side of it that God is going to answer. So the last question is, there's something new about God. I wouldn't say it's brand new, but it's new to me for today. And that is a reminder that God is a good God and He's a generous God. And He's looking for somebody who's just willing to humble themselves and say, I need you. In fact, it says, everyone who asks receives. There's no condition on that. It's for everyone. It's not based on who's been the most obedient lately or who is God's favorite everyone who asks receives. God is just looking for somebody who is humble, who's willing to admit their need, and then He is saying He will show up for them. And I just wanted to let you guys know, this was a verse. This has been a verse I've been standing on for the last few years. It was really hard for us to have kids, and our, there were many years where that prayer went unanswered, at least it seemed unanswered to me. And oftentimes when I would get discouraged and I couldn't hear anything else, the Holy Spirit would say, keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking and I'm going to open those doors. And now we have two beautiful kids. I do want to pray to close this out today. Heavenly Father, I thank you for everybody who's listening in today. I thank you that you know where they are at. You know what is going on in their lives, that the needs that are on their heart, they've been on your heart first. And so I just pray that you remind us to just humble ourselves and to come before you and to communicate what's going on and to know that you are gonna show up and do things that we would never even know to ask or imagine because that's who you are. You're a great big God and you like to surprise us with amazing things. And so I just pray you'd bless every person who's listening in today. I pray you would answer every person Prayer that's being lifted up today, God. We love you. We're so thankful to serve you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. That's all I got. Peace. Was that it? I hope y'all got enough. <laughs>